giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Next team coming up, our lowest numbered team here at Battlecry 20, and that's team number 121, the Road Warriors. I'm going to guess they're from Rhode Island, but they are from Middletown, Rhode Island. Bidding opens in two seconds. 12, 16, and 0 in official play this year. Played at the Southeast Mass event where they're quarter finalists, and at the Rhode Island district where they're also quarter finalists. And up to $15. Sold, it looks like, there to the Quran Fan Club. It takes it for $15 of their second team. All right, this next team up here, I know if he was in, he'd be bidding a whole bunch for, but he's not. So let's see if they go for 166 Chop Shop. Connor, let's see how they do. 166 Chop Shop up on the gate with five seconds. Or in you could five say seconds. they're on the chopping block. That's true. There you go. Whose bot is on the chopping block? Uh, 166, 27, 27, and 0 oh, this year in official play. Played at the PCH District Gainesville event, which were their quarter finalists. Up to $11 already. Southern New Hampshire event where they were also quarterfinalists. And the UNH uh, event where they were quarterfinalists as well. And then the uh, New England District Championship where they did not have an opportunity to play. And they have also played in the uh, offseason uh, as well too uh, this past weekend at Mayhem and Merrimack. <clears throat> Which I'm going to bite my tongue on how many concurrent viewers they have. But. And three seconds, $22 to over enthusiasts looking for their third team and sold takes one. So you got, you got the low number teams and the high number teams somewhere in between. It might happen at some point there, Luke. I believe in extremes. That's why I should bid a dollar for your uh, shaker. Next team coming up onto their 4097 team number 4097. That's the devil bots. There we go. Devil bots coming up. Onto the gate. Devil Bots here coming out of Northampton, Massachusetts. Or it's Northampton, I'm not sure. But uh, 8, 8, 18, and 0 this year. Uh, did not make the playoffs in their first event and second event quarter finalists. $6 though, right away. Luke wanting another team. He wants one in the middle, I think. Uh, TLC going for their fourth team as well. Apparently we have a debate about uh, 2056 stuff going on. Uh, TLC, sorry, Haley takes it for $7. Nice cheap team for you here. They perform well. Could be a good value pick. Only time will tell. This weekend already. Is, that, you know, is Battle Cry only a Saturday event? Is that right? No, it's Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Nice. Get your whole weekend into robotics. Speaking of which, our next team up, uh, team number 175, Buzz Robotics. They're a Hall of Fame team, aren't they? I think so. Yeah, Hall of Fame from 2002. I do remember that. Oh, yeah, that's when, like, a bunch of the rules for the Chairman's video changed because they had a very well-produced video, if I remember correctly. $9 for TLC. Buzz Robotics, 15, 23, and 0. And takes it. That's a quick one for $9. TLC has their uh, fifth team already. Just racking them up. It's an interesting strategy you'll see because obviously the kid list doesn't have any teams left. Tennis Court Gang has uh, one in there. So some teams uh, going for the lower price teams and uh, trying to make it happen. And some people biding their time waiting for the higher price one. So we'll see which teams are waiting for. And we'll see if it's for this team that was 31, 30, and 1 in official play this year. Coming in from Hartford, Connecticut, it's team number 181, Birds of Prey, coming up next for auction. Connor says, I'm sitting here cringing at the values of these teams. I have so much to say. Well, tell us, man. Too much or too little? <laughs> I'm going to guess too little, but $15 going already 16 Uh This team played at Waterbury, <laughs> where they're semifinalists, and then uh, also quarterfinalists at the Western New England event. $20 going to them. Uh, also played a Hartford event where they were semi-finalists and the New England District Championship where they did not make the elimination tournament. Uh, Aaron, you can actually see all the teams that were drafted uh, underneath on the bottom of the screen. So if you did miss a little bit, we still got, uh, you can kind of catch up 
a bit more on how this is. $23. So the Kidlets looking for their first one. PNW is trying to re-outbid them though. Kidlets up to 25. Looks like they might know something. We'll see. And team has been sold. Okay, let's get your first team at 25 bucks. We know everything. A very Even their amazing chant. Ooh, what's their amazing uh, chant? I don't know that. I'm not from America. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, this Never next mind. thing. I've been informed it is 180, 180, 181. I've, I'm now educated. <laughs> there you go. You are now a, a true person from the States. Tegan, would you like a cookie for that? Did you say a cookie? That's what I heard. I'll take a cookie any day. Would you like a cookie or would you like... Yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, next team coming up. I'll be very interested to see how much this team goes for. I think some people will put a lot of value, and I wonder if others uh, will not. But it is going to be a uh, division champion. Team number 1073, the force team. 1073 winners of the carry division which uh, of course a lot of people reference their amazing uh defense that they had against 2056 alone 14 and here come the bits i'll be very interested to see where this goes obviously a uh, primary defensive bot can they score as well absolutely but they i think got their name to fame by playing some pretty awesome defense in the division rounds looks like some teams were able to counter them a little bit on einstein but <laughs> still a fantastic team uh really cool to see uh Talked to 195 about them after uh, they won their division. Couldn't say enough great things about them. And sold. Lunch Company takes it for $30 with their 16 already. Holy cow. So, Haley, how are you feeling about a force team? Are they going to are they gonna be playing just defense or are you going to see them playing some offense as well? Only time will tell their strategy, Tyler. <laughs> These are fantastic answers for on air. Thank you. All right, next one up on it is going to be uh, 1735, the Green Reapers. And 1735, coming up on there. Uh, 17, 21, and 0, won a Chairman's Award uh, this year. Yeah, uh, by the way, chat, love to hear what you say about uh, 1073. How do you think they're How do you think they're going to play out here at Battle Cry? Uh, so this team, by the way, here, uh, 1735, Green Reapers, out of uh, Worcester, I'm guessing, Massachusetts. City names are always a fun part of a uh, game announcing, but they get sold for eight dollars. Eight dollars going to PNW over enthusiasts. That was quick. Cent seventy three should be higher. Somebody says. Uh, next team coming up is our eighteen team. Team number sixty four oh one. We're just going to keep on rolling here, guys. Sixty four oh one is the eight bit Rams. Eight bit Rams coming up in two seconds. Uh, 8-Bit Rams, by the way, pretty good record. Uh, winners of the Hudson Valley Regional, 25-13-0. So won that. Also uh, played at New York City Regional, which they were quarterfinalists, and then uh, did not play in the Elimination Tournament on Darwin. Welcome back, Haley. Three seconds left. Two seconds, twelve dollars sold. The P and W over enthusiast gets their fifth team. So everybody does have a team at least, which is good. But P and W enthusiast with five, lunch company with six teams already. All right, next team is our nineteen team. And that's going to be team number fifty nine forty three. So 5943 is there we go. The bad news gears. Bad news gears. Haley, tell me about this team. Oh, she disappeared. Yeah, she has, tell me about her team. I think she has some mic issues, so. Uh, but seven, $7 uh, so far. Uh, so this team here, uh, by the way, uh, 10, 24, and 0 this year. Uh, quarter finalists at the uh, Tech Valley Regional. Played in Hudson Valley as well. Uh, and they then on the Darwin. Uh, 2791 in the Quals match this year. Just saying. There you go. Uh, at Champs. So they're the real. I think we moved for a total of 20 seconds that match. Karan, did I ask your opinion? Just giving some insight. 
Appreciate that. And good enough for uh, $8 to go to PW Over Enthusiast, who now picks up their sixth team. All right, next one coming up. I uh, played last week uh, as well. They hosted the uh, uh, where's is it? Where's Wolcott? It's right. Wolcott is that how you say it? Um, hosted that event. Team number ten seventy one. Team Max ten seventy one coming up on here. Somebody says ten seventy three will get picked. Somebody else says ten seventy three will not make it to the random third round. Well, how about ten seventy one? Five dollars immediately. Luke's just going to keep bidding, I think. Like, his goal is just to see if he can get every team for $10 or less. Honestly, I think I won IRI, like, <laughs> a year ago off of getting, like, 20 teams. I mean, so, it's it's kind yeah. of working for you. You got $98 with, uh, how many? Do you have seven teams? Holy crap. Uh, seven teams. By the way, uh, Max, uh, Chairman's Award winners at the Waterbury District event. So nicely done on that. Uh, coming up, we're just going to keep rolling. We'll take a break at 25. Uh, 7153 is your next team. Uh, and that is, oh man, uh, Atos Dios, Eagles of Zeus. Hopefully I got that right. Okay, I get city names being wrong. I don't always get the team names being interesting, but I'm guessing there's some significance to it. <laughs> so 7153, $4 immediately. This team, 11, 19, and 0 in their second season. We're actually semi-finalists, by the way, at the uh, Western New England event. Hey, got it right. All right. Thank you. And bidding in $6 <laughs> once again going to Luke for team number eight. I think you guys need to outbid him a little bit. Come on. Uh, 40 Honestly, with all this money, I can still afford someone like 195 for how much they should be worth. Maybe. It's already rigged. That's what it is. Uh, next team coming up, 4909. 4909 was Bionics from, man, city names. Uh, Billerica, I'm going to guess. Anybody can correct me. Uh, coming in from Massachusetts. Let's just say that. Uh, 31, 24, and 1. And played uh, quarterfinalists at the North Shore event. Um, also played at the Greater Boston event where they were uh, in the finals. Uh, also won the District Engineering Inspiration Award there and the Safety Award. Played New England District Championship, did not play in the playoffs, and then in Tesla, they were in the quarterfinals. <laughs> I feel like this is like only our second team, I think, that was in the uh, uh, elimination playoffs at championships. So we had 1073 before. $23 already for the lunch company. Twenty six for TLC. They'd have fifty bucks left if they get them for that, and sold for twenty six dollars. So TLC picks up team number seven for them as well. Very strong team, says uh, Bilby. All right, uh, thirty four sixty one is going to be our next team coming up. Thirty four. They get that right? Yeah, thirty four sixty one. There we go. And thirty four sixty one is uh, Operation Peace Robotics. I'm guessing the double C doesn't mean anything. Uh, Operation Peace Robotics. Uh, they're coming out of Bristol, Connecticut. 14-7-0. Uh, Waterbury event did not make the playoffs. Western New England event uh, made it to the finals. Or their district event finalists. They're ranked number seven. And then played in the uh, Connecticut State Robotics Championship where they're semifinalists. Also played at the Wolcott Invitational. And we're out in eighths. Oh, that's right, because they played like a loser's bracket, I think. That makes sense. Yeah, Walcott did the double double elimination. Sure. And we'll plug for that if you're interested in seeing more about that. It is currently on demand on the First Updates Now channel, so go check that out for the areas that aren't muted by music. Yeah, yeah sure, you can, you can correct all my pronunciation, Connor. How's that? So, uh, Connor, join in. You can join in chat right now. You can correct all my pronunciations. I want to hear this, Connor. Please join. <laughs> uh, sold, by the way, to uh, TLC uh, for $24. Leaves 26 bucks left for that. And what are we on here? Uh, we're on to 25 then we'll do a quick check-in. Uh, so, 
25 is going to be let's see if connor's going to join us i think you know oh, you should be able to join right in connor i don't think i need to drag you in uh 2015 is going to be team number 2712. 2712. We have a 13 and a 12. There we go. Power Surge. Or their long name, Power Surge 4H Robotics from Woodbury, Connecticut. I think I got that one right, so I don't think he needs to correct me on that anyways. Woodbury, Connecticut, 10, 19, and 0 this year. <laughs> Quarterfinalists at their first event which was a Rhode Island event. And then at the Pine Tree District event, we're quarterfinalists as well. And quarterfinalists at the Connecticut State Championship. What's going on? Hey, Connor. You well, got Woodbury, right? All right, good. <laughs> uh, Hi, Connor. Hello. Kidless comes in and snipes uh, with the last second there. And Connor, thank you very much for the uh, 24 months. Holy crap, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, and sold, by the way, the Kidlets gets their second team uh, for $10. All right, so we're through 25. Let's do a quick rundown of our teams here, starting with uh, our over-enthusiast team, which has a over-enthusiastically amount, I don't even know if that's a real word, of teams. Uh, 166, 1071, 1735, 5943, 6401, 7127, 7153, 7407. Luke, $92 left. Uh, I'm Yeah, I mean, you got the cash, so I think that's I think it's very possible still. However, who doesn't have the cash is the lunch company, but they do have a bunch of teams here. 175, 1073, 1100, 2877, 34, 61, 34, 67, 4097, and 4909. 26 bucks left. Are you going to be able to get any other teams here? Um, We'll find out. I'm still questioning Luke's uh, payment methods, but it's okay. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm questioning, no, I'm questioning, like, why he spent so much on some team. That's pretty fair. I, coming from you, my preparation, you have $26. Nah, I'm questioning, <laughs> you know a lot what, Jax? Everyone, eh, it's Sorry. okay. It's only for fun. You're here to correct city names, Connor. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on to the Kidlets. Uh, 165 bucks left. Lots of opportunities there. Uh, has picked up 181 Birds of Prey and 2712 Power Surge. Who are you waiting for here? Only time will tell, Tyler. <laughs> These are fantastic pre canned responses. I feel that we're done in the Discord somewhere before the show started. Uh, <laughs> next one coming up uh, is uh, the fan club, a Quran. Uh, and that's uh, with $169 left. Uh, team numbers 121 and 5813. Uh, so 169 bucks left. Who are you waiting for? Uh, I mean, we got a lot of cash. Should be some good picks coming in the future. We'll see. Alrighty. Uh, and then we got well known outside our region with 114 bucks left. You got team number 190, 37, 19, and 40, 41. I think you probably spent the most per team, but how are you feeling about those three picks? Yeah, we got three powerhouses. Uh, looking for one more in 50, 30. We'll see. All right, that'll be coming up, uh, of course, sometime up here as well. If they are a team uh, here, yes, they are. All right. <laughs> and uh, rounding up is the tennis court gang. Only one team, 157, but $191 left. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.